To this, their message was loud and clear today. Multiple district attorneys across the state want death for suspected East Area rapist Joseph D'Angelo. The 73-year-old Citrus Heights man was back in court today. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood is in the newsroom with more on the hearing and why Angela recent actions by Governor Newsom could put a wrench in the prosecution's plans. At Lister and the family of some of D'Angelo's alleged victims are, of course, pleased that attorneys are seeking the highest form of punishment. But the governor's moratorium on the death penalty means for the time being, it is unlikely D'Angelo would be executed in California. Looking frail and aged, 73-year-old Joseph D'Angelo, suspected East Area rapist, listened as multiple district attorneys said they want death if he's convicted. We are thrilled. A welcomed announcement for the family of two of D'Angelo's alleged victims. The Golden State Killer is the worst of the worst of the worst that ever happened. If there is ever a death penalty case, it is the Golden State Killer. But those wishes may not become a reality. Now is the time for decency. Less than a month ago, Governor Gavin Newsom announced a moratorium on the death penalty in California, ordering equipment be removed immediately from the death chamber. The question really is, do we have the right to kill? Do we have the right to kill? Ronald Harrington's youngest brother and sister-in-law were killed by the East Area Rapist, also known as the Golden State Killer, in 1980. He says the governor has gone against the will of the people who voted in 2016 to keep the death penalty and to speed it up. Our governor has asked the victims of the Golden State Killer to be lenient and Compassionate. Until the moratorium is lifted, no one will be executed in California, but district attorneys like Sacramento's Anne Marie Schubert say it won't stop them from still going after it. The governor, you know, doesn't have the power to tell me what to do in terms of whether we seek it. Um, that's the law. And Joseph D'Angelo is due back in court August 22nd. We do want to note that the case against him, though, could now change entirely. Prosecutors may no longer even be able to ask for the death penalty if a constitutional amendment banning lethal injection altogether passes. That amendment would require two-thirds vote of the legislator and was introduced the day after Governor Newsom announced the moratorium. That will go before its committee, first committee, next week.